seems like comma strokes are the things that stand in people's way more than anything, and it's kind of the brush that you use. If you're trying to execute a comma stroke with a round brush, sometimes you can't get the nice long tail that you want to execute that stroke. I like to use the JS liner by Lowell Cornell. It's a number two liner. It's called a JS mid liner. And the way that I load it helps me make myself through that stroke in an easy fashion. I'm going into my paint puddle here and I'm loading a lot of paint onto the tip of the brush. You'll notice that there's not a lot of paint into the top ferrule portion of the brush. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna hold my handle straight up and down. I'm gonna let my brush hairs lay down for just a minute and take a nap. Half of my stroke is executed by doing it this way. I take it and I lightly begin to pull. The handle of my brush is straight up and down and I'm lifting with my wrist. And as I lift, I gradually lift to make the body of the stroke, and I can carry that tail out as long as I need to. And then I lift up. I can wash my brush out and begin with another stroke because they're high textured strokes. I want to make sure that I've loaded after each one. And if I need to make a smaller stroke, I'm not going to pick up another brush. I'm going to keep the same brush. I'm just going to load a little less paint into the tip. Again, I have a nice ball of paint on the tip of my brush. My handle is straight up and down. I lay the hairs down flat, let it take a little bit of a rest, and I begin to pull. And as I pull, I'm lightly lifting with my wrist and coming back upon the tip of my stroke. Easy.